Hello guys welcome back to Celebrity Lifestyle where we give you the right update and all of what you will like to know, so if you're new here or if at all you're just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you don't miss in any of my upload take them, Pete Davidson teased Kanye West about mental health long before his romance with Kim Kardashian. Over the past decade, many people have been the target of Kanye West and his angry comments online. Among the controversies that people may not forget is her toxic relationship with Pete Davidson. The American comedian has been dating his ex-wife Kim Kardashian for nine months after the Deep in the Valley star filed for divorce in January 2021. The former Yeezy owner, unhappy with the love of his life, left with another man. Much talk has been brought into this whirlwind romance between the reality star and her boyfriend. The fashion mogul has repeatedly threatened the Marmaduke star. But did you know that this war began long before Beth was dating the American community? Pete Davidson once hated Kanye West for making him do drugs. The tension between Kanye West and Pete Davidson began in 2018 when the whole world couldn't imagine him dating Kim Kardashian. While appearing on SNL's Weekend Update, the comedian made jokes about Yee's mental health and told him to take medication. Take them. There is no shame in the medicine game. I support them, it's great, the Saturday Night Live star said in an episode, as reported by Variety. Additionally, he continues, being mentally ill does not mean you can act in a non-conforming manner. Since the Suicide Squad star has taken himself on medication because he was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder at the age of 23. The 29-year-old actor mentioned the Thank God singer after donning the controversial Make America Great Again red hat at the SNL premiere on September 29, 2018. Kanye West supports Donald Trump, who is running against president-elect at the time. The fashion designer gave a speech on political topics following his performance at the show. As a result, Pete Davidson used this incident in his class in a humorous tone while alluding to his erratic behavior. Meanwhile, currently, the former billionaire does not have a good relationship with the former U.S. president. Their dinner at Mar-a-Lago turns into chaos when he brings West with notorious white supremacist Nick Fuentes. The American businessman was very angry with his old friend and accused of inappropriate behavior with the male rapper. Thanks for watching to the end, and guys don't forget to subscribe like this video, share and leave your comment on the comment section below. See you next time.